Schreier, not only for, a, I guess, a classroom forecast, but also a lot happening at the state fair, Sam. There's a lot happening at the fair. There's a lot happening through the country. Tropical depression, Ida, is still swirling its way across the United States, the eastern half of the country here, moving out through Nashville, Tennessee, going to be moving up to Kentucky here. And that storm will weaken in strength as it goes through the coast because it's lost the energy of the ocean. There was so much rain out there and still over a million people without power around the New Orleans area and then east of there as well. Now here in Colorado, the Black Mountain fire grew about 20 acres from yesterday. So luckily there was not any explosive growth on this fire. It still remains roughly 20, 20 and a half miles away from Grand Lake, which is then of course west of Rocky Mountain National Park. Today the fire could spread a little bit with some gusty winds in the region, but also just how much fuel is out there. So we probably will keep getting crews to put slurry and containment lines leading in the edge of the fire, hoping to just kind of park it where it's at. If we're lucky that fire just stays small. They can get some containment lines around it. We're going to get more smoke today. Some of that being from the Grand County fire up near the Boulder area, but a lot of this is just from California in general. Westerly winds are blowing out of the state or blowing into the state, and so the fire and smoke out west, that smoke stays here today. Air quality is actually a lot worse in El Paso and Teller County, not really from smoke. We'll have hazy skies from wildfire smoke from ozone because it'll be hot today. It's not hot yet. We're 61 in the Springs, 59 in Pueblo. If you look at today, it's definitely a toasty one. 94 in the Springs, 99 in Pueblo for the last day of August. This has been a hot and dry month. And this is kind of a fitting way to end things. Couple triple digits are there out east. We're going to have some monsoonal moisture coming to Colorado over the next few days. Remnants of tropical storm Nora are flowing up from western Mexico into Arizona today, and we will eventually get that monsoonal push to ride Arizona and circulate back to Colorado from a high pressure region to our east. There's not going to be a ton of moisture that sinks into the plains. This is going to be a better thing for the Central Mountains and the San Juans in particular. But when we look at Wednesday, so our next upcoming chance of rain, Wednesday should be a decent soak. Our southern mountains, north edge of the San Luis Valley through the Central Mountains, will get some good rain. And we're hoping by the end of the day and into the evening, we can pop some storms into the I-25 corridor and bring some of that rain east Wednesday night. Let's go to traffic. We're going to do a traffic hit first at I-25 and North Academy. Pretty easy going today in the first part of our day. Now, when we go to our traffic network, I'm kind of following things all over the place. Give me a second to pull that traffic map up. Colorado Springs across town, solid looking today. Up to Denver, still about an hour commute north. Ira?